How's everybody doing? Well, first, I want to congratulate all the honorees. What an unbelievable night. The thing that, that jumps out to me coming back to Pennsylvania, um, and to me, this community, it just, it just pours out of it, is the pride that we have in being from Pennsylvania, the pride that we have um, in our communities. Um, Altoona is special to me because the guy that probably had the guy that probably had the biggest impact on my professional career is from Altoona, and that's Jim Pry. So, well, what I thought I would visit with you guys a little bit tonight is about um, you know our philosophy and, and really the foundation that we're trying to lay with the program right now, and. Um, Everything we do is about relationships. You know, um, during the interview process, people wanted to talk about, they wanted to talk about what the offensive philosophy was, the defensive philosophy was, the special teams philosophy. To me, those things are important and coaching matters and I understand all that, but to me, it's ultimately about relationships. Every decision we make, everything we do is about relationships. The relationships with the players, the relationship with the coaching staff, the relationship with the community. Every decision we make is based on what's in the best interest, the team as a whole, the university as a whole, the program as a whole, and then the individual. And our players understand that. I think that was why we were able to have some success uh, the last few years. If you don't know our background, and we took over a program, uh, Brent Pry is here, Jim, Jim's son, who's, who's my uh, assistant head coach and co-defensive coordinator. We took over a program to put some things in perspective for you. We took over a program at Vanderbilt that had had one winning season in the 30 years before we arrived. They had only been to four bowl games ever in 122 years of the existence of the program. Um, we were able to go to three bowl games three years in a row. We were able to win nine games two years ago. Vanderbilt hadn't won nine games since 1915. We did it two years in a row. And the reason we were able to do those things um, had to do with our relationship with the players and our relationship on the coaching staff. I believe you can be unbelievably challenging and demanding on people if you love them hard as well. And that, that's what we were able to do with those kids and we were able to maximize their experience. Leading, you know, talk about following in great footsteps. Um, you know, have tremendous pride and have tremendous respect for what's been done here in the past. But we are going to do it our way and we're gonna lead um, the way that comes natural to us, the, thing, the things that's gonna come off genuine. And I think that's been very, very important. We've been able to stay true to who we are, things that we believe in. I think it's very, very important that you know your strengths. You guys are going to find out real quick, my greatest strength is my passion and my drive. My greatest weakness is my passion and my drive. Uh, I'm also a very, very emotional person as well, as, as you could probably imagine. You'll see that Brent has seen me get emotional in front of our team uh, probably 50 times, and I'll do that. I'll, do, I'll continue to do that because it means so much to me. This, this is not a job. This is not a career. This is personal, and it's even more personal being back in Pennsylvania. You know, the way we were able to do that is, is having great communication. I got my undergraduate degree in psychology from East Stroudsburg. If I was going to do it all over again, I probably would do communication because whatever profession you go into, you're going to have to be able to articulate. You're going to have to be able to get up and talk about your plan, be able to talk about your vision. Same consistent positive plan over and over and over again, and that's what we're going to do. You guys think tonight we're here to talk and come up and talk about um, you know, our future. Really, we're here, me and Brent are here to Jedi mind trick and brainwash everybody uh, to, to jump back on the Penn State bandwagon. In this community, I don't think anybody's left, but that's really why we're here. We talked to the players about the power of self-talk and the power of self-perception. Um, you know, everybody on our staff, all of our players, they understand how appreciative and how grateful they should be to be at Penn State. Um, every single person in our program understands that. 
we don't have any guys. You ask them, how's your day? And they say, all right. If you say your day's all right, that's exactly what you'll have. We wake up every single morning, do a back handspring out of bed, ready to attack the day. So excited about all the opportunities that we have at Penn State. I asked Brent Pry, how's his day going? Best day he's ever had. Ask me how my day is, living the dream. And I believe when you think that way and you talk that way, that's exactly what will happen for you. <laughs> Trying to teach, teach our guys that success is in the details. There was a book that was written one day. It said, don't sweat the small stuff. That's all small stuff. And I know what that book was saying. But the best organizations, the best corporations, the best teams do the little things better than anybody. Our guys understand we're going to wake up every single day. We're going to be the best we possibly can be academically, athletically, socially, and spiritually. The more days we put together like that, the Saturdays will take care of themselves. And we truly believe that. People ask, well, what was the secret to the success you guys had at, the, at your last place? What was it? What was the secret sauce? There is no secret sauce. It's hard work. It's attention to detail. And it's about creating a collective mentality. You're going to find out real quickly, being around our program and our players and our coaches, that everybody is going to sing the same song and we're going to sing it in the same tune. That's so, so important. And our guys are embracing that. People will ask, well, how will you measure success this year, coach? And how will you me measure success in the future? Externally, when I'm out, I'm going to say um, what I'm really concerned about is when people look at our program at the end of this year and the end of years from now, that you say, I'm very comfortable with the direction of the program and I'm very comfortable with the leadership. That's what I'm going to say in speaking events. That's what I'm going to say when I'm talking to the media. But since we all broke bread tonight and we're all family now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Our focus is on winning Big Ten championships and winning Big Ten, and, excuse me, and winning national championships and making you guys all so proud of what's going on at Penn State. We try to express to our guys that you can get everything that you want in life by serving others. And Penn State has an unbelievable history and traditions of giving back. You look at Thon and all the unbelievable events that are going on on that campus and in the community. We want them to understand that and embrace that. Me and Brent understand that's why we are here. We are here to serve the players. And whatever their dreams are, we want to help them achieve their dreams. Same thing in the community. We are here to serve the community as well and try to get our players to understand that. Our four core values... If you ever meet anybody associated with Penn State football and you ask them the four core values and they don't know what they are, send an email over, make sure we get it to them because I will run them at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, our four core values are, number one, have a positive attitude. There won't be anybody associated with our program in our building that doesn't have a great attitude and appreciative of their opportunity that they have at Penn State. Number two, unbelievable work ethic. Nobody will outwork us. Nobody will outprepare us. That's something that we're committed to doing. Number three, compete in everything you do. Compete in the classroom. Compete on the football field. Compete in the community. Those last two things, we believe, is what this country was built on, being the most competitive society in the world and having an unbelievable work ethic. And we've lost a little of that, to be honest with you. We've become a soft, entitled society. You want the American dream? You wake up every single morning and you work like crazy. For that house with that white picket fence and that two and a half kids and the dog, you work for that. And we get our kids to understand that. And then the last core value that we think is the most important one is sacrifice. Everybody wants success, but are you willing to sacrifice to get where you want to go? Getting our guys to understand, are you willing to sacrifice things that the common man won't sacrifice to do special things? So positive attitude, great work ethic, compete in everything you do, and then you must be willing to sacrifice to get where you want to go. Where we are headed, people ask, well, where, where are you headed as a program, coach? We're headed to having the highest GPA in the country. We're headed to having the highest graduation rates in the country, Big Ten championships and national championships. That's where we're going.
Our mission, number one, is to graduate players. That, that is not an option. Guys say, well, coach, you know, we're, we're, we're doing a pretty good job right now in, in recruiting. We've got the number one recruiting class in the country. We're doing some pretty good things. And guys say, well, coach, you know, uh, I, I'm thinking about leaving early. I'm going to leave after my third year. Fine. You better graduate in two years because you're not leaving until you have your degree from Penn State. So we understand that is our mission, but we also know that it's also our mission, our mission to put a product on the field that's going to have a chance to be successful and win games. But ultimately, we've come here to make a positive impact in the community. That's our players making a positive impact. That's our coaching staff as well. And whatever we can do, whatever you ever need, I said this before and I've got myself in trouble, but whatever you guys ever need from Penn State football or for James Franklin, we will bend over backwards to help this community and everybody in our great state of Pennsylvania. I always end our, our team meetings and every single speaking uh, presentation that we get with a countdown. In 126 days, Penn State will open the season against Central Florida in Dublin, Ireland. That game was, that game was a lot cooler when it was O'Leary versus O'Brien in Ireland. So I'm going to go as O'Franklin in that game. But we're really, really excited. I can't tell you and thank you guys for all the support that people have given us in this community, myself, the coaching staff, our players. It's been unbelievable to walk into high schools, to walk into the grocery store, to walk in all the different areas in this state with that Nittany Lion on our shirt and the pride that people have and the way people have received us has been unbelievable. I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to end with this. There might be better looking head coaches in the SEC. There might be smarter head coaches. I said SEC, excuse me. There might be better looking head coaches in the Big Ten. There might be smarter head coaches in the Big Ten. But you are not going to find a coaching staff and a group of men that are going to work harder to make you all prouder than we are. Thank you so much.